All right, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but I've took my little clip lock out just so I didn't run the risk of breaking this last time I had it off. So mine just squeezes and pops off like so. <laughs> going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about uh peak platinum blue def fluid here and why it's good to run this in your truck and why it's worked for me for the last year and a half or so so the the quality of def has a lot to do with how your system functions and operates and i know we all don't really like these def systems on our trucks and it is what it is and we got to make the best out of it but so far this peak platinum blue def i haven't had any issues with my def fluid since i've been running this and one of the main um, things that they claim is deposit prevention so if you watched uh, any of my other uh, def fluid videos on this truck when i had the uh, issue uh, with it not pumping and then i took the uh, injector apart and it was just all crystallized up under there and uh, it was all clogged up and I had to clean it and uh, that worked for a while but eventually uh, the pump quit working and I had to replace it so when I replaced the pump I wanted to make sure that from here on out I'm using good quality def fluid and that it's in date and um, that I always keep it fresh in my tank and and so on so with that the platinum it uh, supposed to save on uh, the crystallization and like cuts down on deposits um, for your uh, def injector on your uh, scr cat on your uh, ram truck so we're going to go under here since i've done the repair i haven't checked it it's been almost two years now and we're going to go under here and take a look we're going to pull the injector off and just see how crystallized it really is after running this fluid um, in it. So what you'll need for this is just a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. And I use some uh, high temp copper anti-seize that I'm going to put back on the bolts um, that thread into the exhaust just to keep them from getting stuck. So we're going to roll under the truck and take a look. So once you're under your truck, you'll want to roll in about the uh, passenger side if you got a four-door truck. And you're looking just past um, the fuel tank and the def fluid tank, which is right here straight across to the exhaust. And you're looking for this right here, which is a def fluid injector. There's two 10 millimeter bolts right here on, on both sides. And you'll have this clip up here with a red locker, which is a two-stage clip. You'll want to pop the red lock loose. You might have to get a pick or something. And then if you want to take your def fluid line loose, there's this little plastic clip here. So we're going to get those off and see what it looks like. All right, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but I've took my little clip lock out just so I didn't run the risk of breaking this last time I had it off. So mine just squeezes and pops off like so. And then this you push in and squeeze together just like that and that comes right off there so this clip squeeze it push in pull off so now that that's out of the way that actually looks good because sometimes it'll be in the past when i looked at this it was kind of crystallized around the supply line and if that's happening it could be that it's not sealing well and you may have to replace the supply line and i'll leave a link in the description uh, below to where you can pick one of those up so now we're going to take our 10 mil ratchet you're going to take these bolts out right here
So right in that hole, as you can see, it's really clean. Not hardly any crystallization on there. So if you were using uh, some deaf fluid that was uh, cheaper, not necessarily cheaper, but just not a good quality, you would see that crystallization on there like I did before. So as uh, Peak Platinum claims, um, deposit prevention, it's really doing a good job. So on the injector itself, which is this little guy right here, and it sprays out of there, not hardly any on there at all. Last time when I was having issues, that thing was solid white. Almost hardly nothing could spray through there. So while I got it out, I'm going to go run some hot water on that and uh, clean it off. There's not much, but this little thing right here is a seal. So if, if you take yours off and this tears, it's a little sticky on one side. And it just is like a sticker that sticks on there. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get some replacement um, seals. It's super easy. You just scrape this one off and then stick the new one on. So we'll get this cleaned up and we'll put it back on. So my seal, when I was cleaning it, it cracked. And I'm just going to show you guys how to replace this. I got an extra one here, so I'm going to clean this off. So what I did is I just took a uh, flathead screwdriver and uh, scraped off the old seal. Now I'm going to take this drill, the wire brush, kind of just clean it. Clean that off. Make a little brake cleaner on a rag. Swipe it off. Get any adhesive that was stuck on there off. Okay, so now you got that clean. We'll take our new seal here. So it's got the 3M sticky on this side. So you just want to take it, peel it off, take your ejector, and get it right on there. Now we're going to go put it back on the so truck. once you get ready to put this on, you take like a little brush and kind of just go around this little hole here. Like so. Make sure this surface area right here is clean. So I'll take some brake cleaner on my rag. If there's any gasket left on there which there is right there i'm gonna go ahead and scrape that off so now that we got that opening clean let's clean up our screws a little bit get some of the rust off all right so when you get your screws out if they look pretty rusty i'd go ahead and replace them because you don't want one breaking off in there It'd be a real pain to get out so once you got them out if you need to replace them get some replace them so now I'm going to take a little of this high temp copper anti-seize, put on here, so that'll help them keep from getting stuck next time I take this off. So reassembly is going to be the same. Make sure your connector is facing up. Stick this back on here.
So these are little screws, so they don't have to be super tight. Or you'll break them. Get that on. Your hose is clean up here. You see where a little bit dripped out, hit the air. Just wipe that off. And it simply just pushes back on until you hear a click. And just pull back on it to make sure it's locked. Put your connector back on. Make sure you hear a click and that it's locked. That's pretty much it. So if you was going to replace this injector, that's how you'd replace it. If you need to clean it, that's how you clean it. And uh, go from there. So that's, that's all you really need to do. So there's a date code. And you can go to Peak's website. They got some YouTube videos actually how to read this. So I'm not going to go into all that. But what I look for is this first two are the batch where the plan is. And the next two is the year. And it's a Julian calendar. So if it says 2023, it was made in 2022. So that's mainly what I just look for uh, when I'm getting it. But if you really want to go in... Um, you take this number minus another number, then you go on a Julian calendar and look at it and it tells you the day and the month that it was made. But right here, just a quick look in the store. You want to know, hey, is this death flood two years old? Well, it's made in 23. So technically it's made in 22. So it's kind of stupid. I don't know why they just don't put October 22, whatever, but that's how you do it um, so so far been pretty happy with it as you can see my injector was fairly clean uh, for the most part no crystallization in there so i'm going to keep running this and hopefully cut down on any problems that we may have in the future anyway guys thanks for watching the video if this helped you out uh, leave a thumbs up like the video for me and if you want to continue seeing stuff about uh, Ram trucks or any problems that I encounter in the future, I'll do a video on it. Hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you guys next time.